We actually like this one. Today, we will be using wall plaque. Welcome back! And if this is your first time here, we're so excited you decided to join us. Now will be a good time for you to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. We were able to remove all our staples. However, they were really difficult to remove. So if you're having problems, you can probably leave yours in because it should not be affecting your DIY project. We will also be using dowels. Not sure of the actual size, but hopefully they work on the plaque. We're not using any measurement. We're putting the nails close to the edge. These won't make too much noise indoors, so we came outside, hence the change of environment. Now we will also add four nails at the top. So we're back in those and this time we will be trying screws instead because the nails were bending at the top and if you have stronger nails then you can use it but if your nail is weak like this then probably not. The nails and the screws are both giving problems today. So we're going to try another method and that's using wood glue along with hot glue to stick the dowels to the plaque.
Now leave them to fully dry. We remove all the nails and the screws and we will use the gluing process instead because it is easier and faster to do. I will leave them to fully dry. As you can see, this one is fully dry and they're pretty strong as well. While the others are drying, we will go ahead and attach the pieces together. Put some wood glue at the top and try to estimate where you have the bottom dowel so it can be straight as possible. And now we're going to add the hot glue to this section. We're going to place something heavy at the top for it to dry. And once the other pieces are dry, we're going to attach all of them together using this same process. Now we will spray it silver. Cover the surface using this adhesive. All we're doing now is taking the measurements so we can cut out the exact size. For only the top section, right at the top, you would leave the adhesive just like this and stick it at the top. For the other sections, we're going to cut so that it can fit around the dowel. Then lay it down just to see if it will fit. Okay, this looks like it fits, and now we're going to stick it down. We're going to use the small pieces that we cut out to work around the spaces without adhesive.
There you have it. Just repeat this process for the other sections. We have other amazing DIY videos and after this one ends will be a great time to check them out. But before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next Saturday.